All right, now let's do a section on legal steps that you need to take. Uh, first off, I should say that I am not a lawyer. Um, but you need to do all that you can to protect yourself. So maybe getting a lawyer is also a good idea. In fact, I, I cannot give you advice without saying that you should also speak to a lawyer. Because there is sharks that can come at you from every side, especially if your product is original, especially if you're making money. There's always going to be somebody who wants a taste of that. There's lawyers out there who specialize in coming after successful projects and taking just a little bit of what they got, sometimes a lot. If they can find some obscure patent or some obscure copyright, if they can purchase it from the owner or if they can just represent it, they will sue you and they will claim that everything that you're making is theirs, that you purposely stole it. And even if you didn't purposely steal it, that somehow they have a claim to what you've worked so hard on. <clears throat> this happens in the music industry a lot. You know, you write a song. It's, it's so easy to write a similar melody as somebody else without even realizing it. And before you know it, you're in court. You hear about a big case every year with famous artists who are just, you know, defending their work. Sometimes they did steal it. Sometimes, you know, they thought they could get away with it. They thought nobody would notice. But more often than not, I think uh, doing your leg work ahead of time will protect you. Um, if, you, if you are doing an eBay store or an Amazon store, I mean, eBay does so much of this work already, unless you're selling stolen products or something. eBay does the business registration, and, and PayPal sort of uh, makes you a member, and then you know, they keep record for you, and they do a lot of their own legal work. And then at the end of the year, they send you a, a tax form that you can use to pay your taxes with, and then you're done. But if you're doing your own operation, you want to not just you know, get patents and copyrights if you have an original product, but you also want to, uh, you want to make sure your business is registered with the city, with the state, with the country that you're in, any requirements there, make an LLC corporation. Uh, you know, to defend yourself, to protect yourself from problems. Uh, the first legal step you want to do is to pick a name. And uh, it's not that easy. You think it's going to be easy because what's in a name, but if somebody else is already using it, especially if they've had any sort of success with it, any sort of traction with it, you're not going to be able to use it. Not without asking them, not without buying it from them. Uh, a good lawyer would be able to walk you through this, but you know, an internet search would help you a lot too. Don't go trying to name your new soft drink Pepsi because they already got it. This is the way. Uh, you want to incorporate your business as an LLC. <clears throat> this is a legal entity that's on file with the government, but it doesn't have to be the name that you use. You can call your LLC uh, your own last name and then management. But then the name that you use with the public, you can use more than one name with the public. And what they call that is a doing business as, a DBA. So suppose your uh, company is called uh, Wholesale Management, but then you want to have one name called New Venture, or have another name called White Snow, or have uh, another name called uh, Best Choice. Well, those are three names that could all be backed by the LLC that you've registered. You just need to register them as a doing business as. This will save you a lot of time. Beyond that, you want to register to pay your taxes. So you want to get a federal tax ID number. Almost every country has the same system. Um, the paperwork is pretty straightforward. I highly recommend you use a lawyer, especially for this section. Uh, you want to learn about employee laws. If you're going to hire people, there's laws to what you've got to do. Uh, you're going to have to pay either their medical insurance, or you're going to have to pay their pension fund, or you're going to have to pay uh, whatever the state requires. So, you know, really get in with that. I highly think that possibly what you should do is just hire everyone as a freelancer. Um, they're going to have to register as a freelancer probably in order to make it legal. But uh, it'll save you a lot of money. 
because all you have to do is pay them what you agree to pay them in the beginning. There's not all these other responsibilities to your team. Um, you want to get your necessary business permits and licenses. Uh, maybe license uh, your process if somebody else invented it and they license and they uh, require a license. Or you know, uh, get your business permits for the city that you operate in. If you're going to have a store, you're definitely going to need, you're gonna need permits. If you're going to sell alcohol, you're definitely going to need a permit. <clears throat> and then you know, look at uh, trademark protections. If you have an original product, you at least need a trademark. Probably you need a patent too. At least you want to get patent pending as soon as possible. So you want to register for a provisional patent, possibly. A trademark is relevant in almost every instance uh, because what you're doing is you're saving the words that surround your business. And oftentimes that forms a shell that this business can be identified by. So it's a, it's a faster way to protect your product, your name, uh, your marketing slogans, uh, just the scheme around your business. But if it's an original product, you probably want to work towards a patent. Don't do your patent first. You want to do that in the middle of your process after you've made some traction because the patent process will eat up a big piece of your life if you're not careful. And it's easy to get discouraged. Uh, and then, you know, you want to open a bank account so you can begin building credit, so you can begin having a financial history. We've been established since this time. The bank account is a big piece of being able to say that. Uh, get your legal ducks in a row, because if you don't, it really will probably come back to haunt you. Not maybe. Most likely. Especially when you start making money. If you do any sort of size, any sort of notoriety, there's going to be somebody who says, I think I can get a piece of that. So, so no matter how busy things get with your setup, you know, set aside some time to address these matters and take your legal obligations seriously. Um, and then you'll be able to scale. And then you'll be free to do your business the way you want. And you'll have a certain amount of integrity knowing that you're a registered part of this community. And uh, I wish you luck.